In this video, I'm talking about the latest U.S. home construction data for February 2024 and lumber market and prices for the middle of March 2024. Hello again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. We are a newsletter which tracks the North America construction framing, softwood lumber, and panel commodity prices, FOB mill, so sawmill price, all across North America, weekly since 1952. I'm the third owner. And today I want to talk about the latest uh, U.S. housing, um, new housing starts, new single family starts, and the permits. This is a uh, most important data set for the sawmills and the home builders because that is the number one use for North America lumber, U.S. housing. Canada housing is uh, approximately 10% of the volume. So Canada is important, but the U.S. is by far the largest market. And so the Canadian and U.S. lumber prices and market rise and fall with what is going on with home building and the lumber price data which we report comes out every week for that week. So it's very on time. You also, uh, people who have a subscription to my dashboard, also uh, get the market commentary explaining why those prices have changed. We talk about things like the sawmill order file, how is their log supply, you know, what's going on with transportation, are there any weather issues, labor, is the mill curtailed or going to curtail uh, to reduce production volume, all that kind of stuff. And so right now, I'm going to quickly go on to show you some graphs of the um, total housing starts against my lumber prices index and the single family starts and permits. And I'm going to talk about that data and explain what's going on uh, compared to one year ago and show you some of the lumber prices so you can see what was going on then, which we now know, and what's going on now possibly to give us an idea of what we can expect, you know, going forward mm, over the next few months. That's about as far ahead of a, um, any kind of indication that I would give. Residential housing starts in the U.S. increased 10.7% uh, last month compared to January to a 1.52 million unit annualized pace. Total starts were up 5.9% from February of 2023 when they were 1.436 million units. And so here you have total and single family housing starts. The green line, the purple line is total housing starts. And then the blue line, it does extend beyond uh, the data for housing because the lumber prices come out every week. And so for March 15th of this year, the Madison's Lumber Prices Index was US $492 per thousand board feet, which is up just a little bit from the previous week when it was 487. And so most interesting to the lumber industry and players is single family starts, which surged 11.6% in February to a rate of 1.129 million units from 1.012 million units in January. Now permits, usually they're issued two months prior to when construction starts and are a good leading indicator, although they are volatile because not every single permit becomes a start, although for the past couple of years it has been pretty good uh, relationship. Uh, single family permits for February were up 1% to 1.031 million units from January. But while the month over month and especially year over year data is uh, really worth looking at, I think the trend line here is something to note. So from the beginning of last year, 2023, this increase going uh, steadily upward and also correlates quite nicely to the Madison's Lumber Prices Index, which is the blue line. And just real quick, this data that we show all the time, the benchmark item, Western Spruce Pine Fir KD, number two and better, two by four, lumber, the blue line for this year looking incredibly flat. It looks like last year the yellow line also looks flat, but it's just seems that way because of the extreme volatility of 2022 still showing on this graph. Last year that price did range about $150 per thousand which is con considered normal historically. Okay and so 
in this uh, information, the fundamentals are really very, very important. And some of the basic fundamentals, which were that way last year, is that the U.S. is significantly underbuilt for the population. Uh, the requirement, the need is for more than one million housing starts per year. And for a good 10 years, it was much below that from since the housing crash of 06, from 07 to you know, like 2018, 2017, the um, number of uh, houses constructed every year was below a million. There's also the issue of aging stock, where a significant proportion of existing homes are reaching their end of life. They're at the 70 year, even 100 year mark and either need to be completely you know, demolished and rebuilt or so much refurbished that it's, again, enough volume of wood uh, that this remodeling would count into the lumber market input every week. Uh, we have demographics. And so the, for a couple of years now, the largest cohort of first time home buyer are millennials. They are a large generation and we're sort of really at the beginning of those uh, people getting into home buying age right now. So an extended time, 15 years from now, 12 years from now, of expectation of increase in home building. Some experts have been saying that the millennials have a different appetite, not necessarily for a single family home, maybe more for like a community type living in some condo or townhome or a low rise apartment which still use wood, not as much wood per unit as a single family home, but still that's, you know, your studs, your uh, plywood, just as much, okay? Uh, and there's a few other things. People talk a lot about um, what happened with the interest rates and what's going to happen. But I mean, the fact is that people need somewhere to live and home ownership, you know, it is the dream. That is the goal. So, uh, I'm going to just leave it there for now. We will be making uh, videos about uh, the housing and lumber every month. And I've started uh, back up doing the videos about lumber every week. Uh, this week I covered uh, the coast and the Douglas fir. So check back often. If you like what you see here, click subscribe so that you'll be notified when we make another video. Click like so this awesome content will get recommended to other viewers. And if you need more than just a little snapshot, if you need to see the full uh, 500 uh, price data set and the market commentary, here in the caption is a link to my website. You can fill out the form, get a sample. If you like what you see, the uh, commodity prices that we track and what those prices are for the week, you can subscribe. We'll send you an invoice and you will have access every Thursday night along with my current subscribers to see that price update when it comes up every week.